to start off the second episode of this podcast by Mr. Robbie Coles here debriefing on some blind items that have happened this week. And I'm going to guess who they are and if I know who they are. And I have a feeling I'm probably going to know because I'm good at this shit and I'm just going to say it. You're good. Yeah, you are. You've been, I mean, last podcast, I learned a lot from you. I felt like you were teaching me what pop culture is, what it means to the people out there. So I'm a pop culture gal. Yeah, you are indeed. Yeah, um, I'm getting there. I still don't know many people's names. Well, but... you're slowly but surely coming into the pop culture girly yes. pop yeah. vibe. That's it. The girly pop. You're going to be a girly pop sooner or later. I've had the invitation. Yeah. I'm just struggling to get there. But yeah. I've, I've got the taxi. Yeah. I'm almost there. Nearly there. Okay. You just need that last push over the line <laughs> and I'm going to get you I there. I just need that key in the door and then I'm in. Then you're there. Here we go. All Come right. on, let's go. Right, pod, so... Pod episode two, we're ready, we're excited, blind items of Okay, the week. well, this is just, this is just a little, like, like Millie said, little fun little, what's been going on this week, this month, little blind item. You've got to guess what the topic is about or who it's about, sorry. Given that I am a pop culture girly pop, I actually did really bad at this last time. You did. And do you know what? I've actually gone a bit easier this time. Thank you. Just because, you know, we'll make it fun for everyone. I think I was losing my marbles a bit last time because... You had a duh moment, as you said. I did have a duh moment. And I was like, what's a duh? And he told me. Obviously, like, how did I not get that? So I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring the energy back and I'm going to get it right this time. Go on, tell me your first one. All right. Okay. So big one. It's a big birthday. But who's celebrating their 21st birthday? Who's celebrating their 21st birthday? Is it today as we're filming? Yes. It is Miss Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah, it is. Yes. Our queen. And I'm looking kind of challenging Olivia Rodrigo with my purple outfit today. Yeah, you are actually. You're giving that vibe. Oh my God, I wore purple last time. You did? I thought that's why you're wearing purple today. No, I am not. Even, didn't even think about that. I actually. thought, yeah, sick. I love that. No, I'm wearing purple again. And obviously purple is Olivia Rodrigo's colour. It is. Like that's her theme for whatever. What was it? Um, Sour was. Oh, uh, yeah. First album yes, was purple. Yeah, yeah. Second album, Vampire. Oh, it was also yeah. purple. Um, But people are saying that she puts colours to different eras of her evolution. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. So she's still obviously really young. She's 21. I know. So, when I saw it, I was like, <laughs> 21. 21. And she's done so much already. So, so yeah. much. So I'll be excited to see what her next colour is because her next colour will show where she's at in her life. So yeah. like if she goes for a red for her, like her next album or her next tour, or whatever, it's going to be like, oh, Olivia Rigo is like in her like womanhood era. She's in her red era. She's in her red sexy womanhood yeah. era. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I totally get that. The colour what theory was purple? Thing. What could, purple's quite mysterious, I feel like sometimes. It's kind of a colour in between pink and a bit of red. And you're like, where are you, well, I like this. Where do you purple's stand? Purple's my favourite colour, to be fair. I love a so. bit of purple. And I think purple also is like the sort of thing where she can still latch onto a bit of girlhood and childhood and be relevant to a woman and a girl. Yeah. Because she was a Disney girl. Who would have thought a colour would be so deep? I eh? know. Sorry. God, <laughs> this is this. I was like, it's your birthday today. <laughs> Rob, the colour is perfect. <laughs> We're getting into colour theory. No, I love, no, it's great. I'm all I'm all for it. I'm all for it. So it's Olivia Rodrigo. I got that right because I know this. I yeah. know this. 21 today. So Olivia, if you're watching this, obviously she is on Obst- her birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. And just another little fun fact. Do you know who else's birthday is today? I know it was yesterday, but not today. Who today? We, today as well. Yeah. Tell me. Riri. Riri? Riri. As in? Uh, as in bad girl Riri. The bad girl. The, the bad baddest girl. girl of them all. Yes. Is it? Yeah, yeah she's 36 or 34. I don't think she'd want us let's, to disclose let's that. Let's not. No. She's 21. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> are they twins? Yeah, I know. maybe they are. Twinsies. Yeah. Same birthday. It is her birthday. Because yesterday was Millie Bobby Brown's. It's the 20th. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, if... Um, Somebody please let us know in the comments what does that make their star sign? Because I have no idea on star signs other than that I'm a Leo. But what does that make their star Jan. sign? Jan. No, it's Feb. That a Valentino? Be... No. Um, <laughs> what's that, what's that, Rob? I think that was something different. But that'll be interesting because then you can look at like what's, what star sign do Olivia Rodrigo and Rihanna share to why similarities in their personality like might make them align. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, Pick true. that apart. God, this is that was, that was a deep question. I know. I told you we're getting deep. We're I getting love deep that. Today. Yeah, we are. Aren't we? <laughs> I'm scared to ask the next one now. <laughs> Come on, tell me. Okay, so well done on that one. Thank you. Congratulations. Also, this is a, a simple one, and this is just like I've had this on repeat. Okay, repeat on repeat. Go on. Okay, but what singer has dropped an absolute bop this week? In the last well, last week, but like um, it's been, it's just. It's bleeding through all the weeks for the rest of our lives, I oh, think. I love that. Um, not an album, but just a particular just, song. Yeah, just a bop. 
you... and it gets your hips going like okay. one of those like is whoa what's going on over here what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> you know you listen to a song you're like whoa, whoa. rob's feeling himself today i am um is it an icon <sighs> yeah mm. is the icon edging in to a completely new era Yes, Millie. Okay, so it's I obvious. think you know the answer. It's Beyonce. Yes, it is. <laughs> and she's going into her country vibe. Oh my God, I'm here for it. It's amazing. It's so good. Again. Texas. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 down, 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 da, da, da. Somebody stop him right now, please. Sorry. <laughs> Not giving you the egg. Um, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Let's not repeat that. That's what I'm here that. for. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> she's edging into a new era. <laughs> she's living... <laughs> Because she's Beyonce, she can do whatever the fuck she wants. Yeah, I think she is amazing, unreal. And I love that she's she's going in this new direction. And she's just like, I just love how fearless she is. Yeah. At anything anyway, like she always has been. Yeah. She can do anything and everything, period. Yeah. It's uh, amazing. Because she's Beyonce. Yeah. And it's a banging track. It's so good. And the album, Act Two. Act, act Two. I think Act Two comes out at the end of March. Yes. Behind yes. correct yeah. if we're wrong. Because I think she put something else up as well, like 16 cigarettes. Yeah, or she something. did. I and haven't heard that because I tried to find that on Spotify, but was that just at the super, like... I'm not sure, but I know that it's a country track st- again. Um, but on her website at the minute, she has a whole, like collection of act two and what act two is going to be with pictures oh uh, really I didn't, yeah. go, I didn't make it to the website i got stuck on the song and then my hips were going and i was like well i'll just stay here for a bit <laughs> well i heard the song and then i heard rumors that she's going on tour again with act two because the website which has been beyonce the renaissance tour.co.uk whatever for the past year and a half yeah, has oh, right, okay. in the past week changed from that to just the beyonce world tour right i see so i was like oh my god act two is going to be with a new tour like new set design completely different for renaissance this is going to be crazy yeah so i've just been sitting on act two on the website for the past week hoping that she's going to release just the tickets it, yeah because yeah. i mean i have to i have did you to. see it on the last tour did you know but I, this is what i mean i have to see beyonce in my lifetime mm. Like, I just have to. It's she's, spo- she's such a powerhouse. Yeah, she is, yeah. And she delivers on every single show that she does. Yeah. Unreal. Unreal. Like, Beyonce. Oh. I know, I know. Unreal. I'd love to see her as well. Have you never seen her before? No, never. She like, ne- friends have seen her, but I've always just, like, missed out my ticket or yeah. I'm going to see someone else or it's just never kind of our universes and never aligns. But maybe on the country vibe. Going to see somebody else over Beyonce. Yeah, I try, I, who was I seeing? <gasps> no, this is going to be like a debate if it's somebody like... Who was I Who was I seeing? She toured, like, it was last year she was touring. Who was I, who was I seeing? Who was touring last year? Oh, I know who I saw. Who? Well, I saved my money because I couldn't get two tickets at the same time. Go on. So who was it? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you even know them, but it's, it's busted. Uh, Rob, I'm not that young. I know who busted <laughs> are. Because, I mean, every single... Busted, Beyonce. Mm. I'm going busted, please. No, that's a hot topic. That's a hot take. That's a hot take. <laughs> you busted over Beyonce. Listen, they're both different books, they aren't are. they? They are. One's got more chapters. Are we talking busted or muck busted? Busted. Oh, Just yeah. Just busted, yeah. No, then. Yeah, busted Sorry. or McFly, busted. Anyway, we're getting off topic here. Sorry, but... we are. <laughs> but That's for another debate. It okay? is another that's debate. That's a big one. Um, but yeah. That's what's been going on. Looking forward to her album. Country vibes. Me too. I've seen a lot of people are not too pleased with it either. And I think, you know what? Just leave her alone. Just, you know Just what? Just let her play the music. Let her play the country stuff. Yeah. And I'm here for it. So Beyonce can own any genre she wants to own because she's Beyonce. She's done it before. She'll do it again. Yeah. So let Beyonce be. Let yeah. her live. And like I said, like, that's what I said about her being fearless. It's yeah. like that industry and putting new music out and changing your vibe completely that mm. can be a scary thing and Gosh, it is because yeah. like, you're just getting picked apart by the media yeah. so her putting out a new stuff and just being like this is me right now this is my next page and my next chapter you're either in it or you're not yeah and if you're not I don't care anyway because I'm Beyonce <laughs> move the fuck on <laughs> What was this accent that keeps coming out? I, I've, I've been watching this uh, Irish TV show. What is it? It's called Kin. Oh, I haven't heard of it. Who's oh my in God, it? It's unreal. Um, I'm not good with names, Smitty. You know oh this. Oh, God. Give me a face to de- uh, depict. A guy with um, brown hair. Oh, God. But what do you mean? Not oh Killian God. Murphy. Is it Killian Murphy? No, it's the guy who played D- um, Daredevil in one of the Marvel. Oh, anyway, God. It's amazing. I, I do can't... recommend it, but there's a really bad guy on it. Um, bad acting correct. or just no, a bad no. person? Do you, do you know what? What makes it so good is how much I hate the act. I hate the character. Right. So like the 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 bad guy. Yeah. I 
I hate him. I don't hate anyone. Like, if I, it takes a lot to hate someone. Yeah. Would you agree? Like, yeah. I can't be asked to hate you. You're just an easy going life. guy. It's just wasted energy. Oh my God. I, you I love like, him. I just hate it. Really? But he's, that's how good it is and how good yeah. he is at acting when you can hate the villain that much. Yeah. I don't hate him. In the interviews, he's amazing. Yeah. But in the show, I'm like, oh my fucking God. When you can feel it in your bones and your tummy that you actually despise. Yeah. Oh my God. That's, it is. It takes over. It's on kin. It's like, on, on the, again, off topic here, but <laughs> it's on Rotten Tomatoes at 99%. Oh. It's just gone on BBC iPlayer. Everyone's brilliant. talking about it. Oh, it please. is like... What's IMDb saying? I haven't looked. Because me and my boyfriend only watch anything that's over a seven on IMDb. Oh, it's, it's got to be nine. It's got to be it up is there. honestly insane. It's about drugs and like an Irish family, like maybe getting into a... Uh, maybe they were like a small... They were a big fish in a small pond, but now they're a small fish in a bigger pond. Oh, no. But they're... They're doing it. But they're oh, doing it's it. amazing. I just okay, we need to watch, watch Kim. It. Watch Kim. We need to watch Kim. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it and then we can divulge next time. Okay. Have you got any more for I've me? I've got one more for you. Go on, tell I'm not me. Two, actually, Go but on. I'll do this one because this is what I've, you know, what I've seen. I thought, you know what? Good for her. Go on. Okay. Also, this is all, these all been girls, by the way. So, Girl Power. Girl Power. They're, we're, we're, they're doing bits right now. Girly Pops are Love doing bits. Love to see it. Love to fucking see it. What celeb has been living their best life in Europe at the moment? In Europe, I don't want to give away the, the the country. Give you a bit of a challenge, but sh in she's there right now. She's loving it. She's there currently. Yeah, and she was seen walking out of a hotel recently, looking fire, beautiful. In Europe, beautiful. Um, is is she an actress? She she was an actress. She was then singer. Now back to acting. She was an actress, and she sings. She hasn't done a song in a while though. She but a... she's got new music coming out. <gasps> this is why she's there. Actress, then singer. Yeah, because she stopped acting for a bit. Then actress and again. And then actress again. And she's got a new album coming out. Or a new song coming out. She's just she just posted it literally like what? yesterday. There you go. Why do I not know this? She's my celeb crush every time. Mel, come on. Oh my this. God, this is so bad. I can't, this is embarrassing. This is giving me the ick. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I was going to say Billy Eilish. No, but she, I've not seen her in Europe. Yeah, she's like, is she an actor, Billy Eilish? She did just do some acting in um, a TV show called Swarm that she actually just won an award for. Did she, did yeah, she? but I don't know if she just won the award because she was Billy Eilish. She's Billie, yeah, because she's BE. Yeah, because yeah. she is BE. But like, <laughs> her, I remember her role being quite minor, and what I saw of it, her acting was good, but like, I, I imagine her being good. Yeah, I don't know if it was award worthy, but anyway. Okay. I don't know. Um. In Europe. She's, okay, she's a Disney star. Was a Disney star. She's doing well. Miley Cyrus? No. What? But a good, 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 good shout. She is in the city of love. In the city of love? <laughs> Are you still not getting this? No. Uh, where have you been? You've been on that Beyonce website for too long. Uh, yeah, I have been. My mind's been split between yeah. like life and Beyonce You've right been in now. the desert. I have. <laughs> doing Texan and holding the hips. <laughs> <laughs> My cowboy hat on. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. You have to tell me. Selena Gomez. Oh, Sel oh, she is in Paris. Correct. She City is of in love. Paris. Yeah, do you know what it is? I'm just not a huge Selena Gomez fan. Sorry. In a bit. <laughs> See you later. Sorry. Bye, I'm, I'm going to get roasted for that. <laughs> Rob's gone. I'm, I'm gone. sorry, Rob. <laughs> Rob, come back. Come back. I'm sorry. Like, I know I'm just not. Like, I like her, but I find her slightly insufferable in the same breath. Like, there's elements to her I find slightly insufferable. Okay, like, I'm not going to take this personally. But sorry. Go on, please carry on. But did you see the clip of her maybe from yesterday or the day before? She was in Paris and she walked out of her hotel room. I mean, I know a lot of celebrities of this. I'm like, <laughs> this is generalised. But she walked out and she, she had a fit on. So, you know, fair play to her. But she was strutting down the street yeah. and just to get the pat pics. And then she did maybe three steps and then the, and the influencer back and forth. Like, mm. you know, like all the influencers do the back and forth in Notting Hill outside, like colored doors. She was doing that. Um, and then she just turned around and went back into her black taxi. And I was like, oh, it makes me, that just makes me cringe a teensy weensy bit. Yeah, I did see that. Did you? Yeah. Well, how did you feel? Did you cringe? Well, at first, I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Because I thought she was walking up, Away. Walking away yeah. or just walking up. And I thought, okay, cool. But then I was like, she's got no security guards. And she was, yeah. And I was like, wow, good for you. Yeah. And then she just did a... You, and she literally went, cool, yeah. done. And then she turned around. Just flipped it. And then a fan ran to her and she actually signed a photo. She did, that I was quite that. nice. I thought, that was fair nice. play. But she's got to do it in front of the pap, so... That's what I was literally but, about to say. listen, I don't want to be... This Selena's my... 
She's my Beyonce, Selena. Really? Yeah. I, you know, I can see it. She's she's done so much. She's stunning. Like she she's an all rounder. She literally yeah, can I do just, everything. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I just. But and she's going out with like a mate, Benny Blanco. A Benny Blanco, yeah. Who is like. People so keep saying Benny Blanco looks homeless, and I think that's cruel. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. He doesn't. I don't think he does. People are being I quite mean he's about just his like, looks. He's just, he's he's a loose guy. Yeah, he, he just, just doesn't care. Yeah. And it's kind of, that's, that's like refreshing in a way, I suppose. But... I see that. I see that. I think he's a really cool guy. I love his curly hair. Yeah. I think his fits look good. I just think. I think he's quite skater as well. I he think is. that's that kind of thing. It's like, you just sweaty pants on. Like, yeah. Your beard needs a bit of a trim, but you leave it. You turn up. Yeah. He's an incredible like producer. There's he all is. the songs we all listen to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Actually, he is, he is. Like the powerhouse behind yeah, a lot of he's just like, pop songs. Oh, I don't really care. It's like whatever. You know. But... Bag Selena Gomez. Because everyone used to say that about um, Pete Davidson, didn't they? Yeah. Was, wasn't everyone just like, who is this guy? When yeah. he Because I started noticing him when he was dating Kim, obviously. And I was mm. like, what? Not Ariana. No, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Ariana. Because it's Ariana. That was it. That was it. I was like. Yeah. Anyway, let's not talk about her exes. I know. Um, we'll be here all day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> respectfully. Respectfully. Res- respectfully. Yeah. Of course. She of live, course. Like, live your life, girl live yeah. your life do you yeah. know what I mean if I was Ariana Grande I'd be living my life like that too so oh yeah good for her yeah she's uh, living it yeah before we move on I love Ariana <laughs> she's fucking great for the record she has been yeah but she has do you know what actually this she's is a little amazing. fun fact for you I actually got in to my college course when I did fashion design when I was a fashion design girly oh yeah yeah off the back of the Ariana Grande drawings that I used to do. Did you? Yes. <laughs> you used to draw her? How pathetic is that? That's not pathetic. All I used to draw, all time, all the time, never anybody else. Can Ariana you bring them Grande. in for the next set? We'll source them. <laughs> my you... mum. I'll gonna... edit, I'll edit them in. Yes, we want to talk to my mum. I'm talking to you right now, mum. <laughs> Dig up these Ariana Grande pictures because I know she's got them somewhere. And she was, I know because she was very concerned for me at that point because I did nothing else other than lock myself in my bedroom and draw Ariana Grande. Is that not a cry for help? Mm. That's a cry for help if I've ever seen one. Yeah, okay. So yeah. I owe a lot of myself and my character to Ariana Grande. So thank you, girl. You got me through a lot and you got me into college. Check it out. With next to no GCSEs. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We love you. 